Hey guys, it's MH Finn. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into arguably the most important metric to understand when trading options, implied volatility. For new traders, especially those on Robinhood, understanding IB is critical to achieving success in the world of options. Beware that the foundation of IV, or implied volatility, is based largely on complex mathematical modeling. And while this video is labeled as a deep dive, we're going to be approaching the subject from a more simplistic view. Think of it as taking an algebra-based physics class instead of a calc-based one. We start with the basics. In its most simple form, IV is determined by the current price of options contracts on a specific stock or future. It is represented as a percentage that you can find under the options detail page on Robinhood. What it represents is the annualized expected one standard deviation range for the stock based on the options prices. That may sound confusing, but let me just quickly demonstrate with an example. An IV of 25% on Apple stock priced at $200 will represent one standard deviation range of $50 over the next year. If you recall from statistics class, one standard deviation is a measurement that represents around 68% of outcomes. When it comes to implied volatility, this just means that there is approximately a 68% chance that our Apple stock, currently priced at $200, will settle between $150 and $250 one year from now. As you can tell from the graphic, IV will not help a trader determine direction. It simply acts as a measure of uncertainty. If we think about options contracts as insurance contracts, we can better understand the relationship between IV and an options price. When an asset's future becomes more uncertain, there is more demand for insurance on that asset. When this concept is applied to stocks, it just means that options in general will become more expensive as the market anticipates greater uncertainty about a stock's performance in the future. This is why IV is so incredibly important in options trading. IV is very connected to an options price and directly impacts profits. In conclusion, IV is essentially a standardized way to measure the prices of options without actually having to analyze each different options price. So much so that some traders will actually quote implied volatility as the price of an option rather than the listed contract price. But this concept may also inspire a very good question that you should be asking yourself. How can you tell if IV is high or low when looking at a variety of different assets and contracts? How do you know you're getting a good deal? Let's pretend for a second you live on a beach in Mexico. If you see the water levels on the beach every day, you can easily tell when the water levels are high and when they are low. A tourist, however, who comes to the beach for a very first time may think that an extremely high or an extremely low water level is perfectly normal as he or she doesn't have any reference. Think of IV as the water level. How can you place context around implied volatility and determine if it's high or low for a particular and specific options contract? Well, the answer is simple. Volatility rank and IV percentile. These two concepts help conceptualize IV prices so you can have a good idea whether things are expensive or cheap based on previous historic levels. Let's start with IV rank. This measurement ranges from 0 to 100, analyzing the high and low IV point over a certain time frame. Usually one year is the time frame used. Let's pretend you had an underlying that in the last year had an all-time low IV of 50% and an all-time high IV of 150%. If the IV rank was 50, this will mean that the IV is currently 100%. If the current IV was above the 150%, the rank would be 100, and if it was below 50%, the rank would be 0. As you can tell from this example, IV rank essentially examines the historical highs and lows within a given period and spits out a number that can be interpreted using a simple range, i.e. 0 to 100. But this measurement has a fatal flaw that is concerning to many traders and is a big reason why many don't use this measurement for accurate referencing. IV rank can be deceiving because of outliers. For an example, an earnings announcement may cause an underlying IV to spike to 200% just for one day. 
IV rank now includes this figure in its calculation, and you're left with a deceiving stat that diminishes the value of what it's trying to represent. Extreme outliers can significantly alter IV rankings to the point that they become essentially useless. This is why many traders elect to use IV percentile. This statistic weighs each day equally, significantly minimizing the effects of outliers. That same spike I mentioned where IV jumped up to 200% in one day now impacts the calculation, but it does so in such a smoother manner. IV percentile takes all the trading days in the past year and analyzes what percentage of those days IV was lower than the current level. This calculation provides a much more clear picture. It works in the same way with the range going from 0 to 100. I would suggest using IV percentile to get that all important context in regards to implied volatility in your next options trade. Unfortunately, on Robinhood, this statistic is not displayed anywhere, so you'll have to use another tool. Understand that only premium brokerage accounts will offer this valuable statistic and finding it for free is extremely challenging. But to summarize, IV percentile will basically tell you the full story with just one number. If the underlying XYZ has an IV of 40% and an IV percentile of 5%, we can safely assume that the IV is historically very low for this particular asset. On the other hand, if it was 40% and it had an IV percentile of 95%, we can safely assume it's very high. Remember the general rule. We want to buy options when IV is low and sell options when IV is high. Obviously, this is easier said than done, but many novice traders would simply glance over implied volatility without ever understanding it, and by doing so, they get crushed trying to make money trading options. This is why understanding whether IV is high or low is so incredibly important, and unfortunately, Robinhood doesn't give you the right tools to examine that. If you're just starting off, I would recommend Robin Hood just to come to grips with actually simple mechanics of making and completing an options trade. When you begin to understand and wrap your head around pricing and how to achieve success, I would recommend a trading platform such as Thinkorswim, which has all the essentials you need, including IV percentile, in order to trade options at a very high level. If you're looking to get that start on Robin Hood and you enjoyed my video, please use my affiliate code to sign up. By signing up, you and I both will receive a stock valued up to $200. Anyway, the story of implied volatility doesn't end there. While some may downplay the effects of IV, I want to show you a real life example and just how powerful implied volatility can be. Let's begin by examining a real options trade. You, dear trader, believe in Elon Musk's Tesla dream. You are certain Tesla stock will go up and above $300 by November. It's currently trading at $270. So you look through the Tesla options chain and find the November 15th $300 call. You buy it for $32.15 for a total entry cost of $3,215. This particular option has an implied volatility of 49.50%. Now just to demonstrate the effects of implied volatility, Let's pretend that the stock's price doesn't move and stays exactly the same for two months, and the implied volatility also stays exactly the same throughout this period. Obviously this isn't realistic, but let's just pretend for a second. In this scenario, our option would be worth 30% less if we went to sell it, and we'd lose out on approximately $950. Now let's change the scenario just a little bit. Let's say everything stayed the same, just like in the scenario above, but the only thing that changed was IV. Let's say it went from 49.50% to 90%. In this scenario, if we went to sell our option after holding it for just two months, we'd make a 48% return and actually profit approximately $1,550. The only thing that changed there was IV, and it completely changed our outcome. In the first scenario, we lost 30% on our investment, while in the second, we made nearly 48%. That just goes to show you how sensitive option prices are to implied volatility. It could be the difference between going bust and hitting jackpots. Once again, please look to buy options when IV is low 
and sell them when IV is high. And make sure you know what high and what is low by looking into the IV percentile statistic. If you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And thank you guys for watching. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions.